Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. Got kind of a neat sub to share with you. It's a little bit of a departure from our standard scale submarines. Uh, let's take a closer look. So what I have before me is uh, one of the prototypes of an upcoming series of RC submarine hulls that we've called the Blue Water Boats. This was done in conjunction with Randy Sanders who did an amazing job drafting the original files. Now what you see here is a little bit of a departure from the standard files that he supplied. We had a little bit of fun with this, kind of a steampunk-esque theme to it. We did a new tower. We did some portholes on the side, but the whole idea about this is they're just fun, super simple, and ultra high performance boats. I want to show you the inside here shortly, but before we do that, I'm going to share a little bit of footage of this thing bombing around in my swimming pool. So one of the first things that you're going to notice is this uh, tremendous periscope thing sticking out of the top. And there's a reason for that, and that is because this submarine is operating off of high-frequency radio on 2.4 gigahertz. The reason we went with uh, high-frequency radio is because originally this was commissioned for use in a salt water pool. When you've got a salt water pool, low-frequency radios like we would typically put in a boat like this don't penetrate the water so we need to have this above we bombed this around in my pool as you just saw it was still a ton of fun and it really adds a new layer of complexity and challenge to it because you need to keep that uh, antenna above the surface of the water i had a great time operating it now some design characteristics of the boat that are important to talk about a super simple streamlined shape. The new Blue Water boats will actually have a few different options for you. Uh, this is just a straight cylindrical section. We've also got one that has a raised deck. Um, we have these, uh, you know, steampunk style sail. We've got a more modern sail. We've got a big rectangular sail. All of these are options for you to print out and make the boat yours. This is sort of a standard size. You can just print out new center sections and extend the boat out as large as you want. You could also take a section out and make it shorter if you want. So there's a lot of um, customizability in these boats. Because of the streamlined shape uh, and because of the situation of the rear control surfaces for the dive planes and the rudders, this thing is insanely fast and exceptionally maneuverable. It'll probably turn about 
uh, in a uh, 180 degree turn within like a three foot diameter, making it a perfect swimming pool submarine. Now that we've talked about that, let's take a look at the inside of the boat. Access is super easy. All we did is we just drilled a, a little pin in the back here with a wheel collar on it, just a brass pin. That locks it in place. The upper hull just slides forward and lifts off. We're gonna pull out our 2.4 gigahertz antenna. And this is uh, what we call the Easy Driver Watertight Cylinder. It's a little wet and dirty from being uh, in the test pool there. But you'll notice that this is basically just one compartment. There is no ballast system for it. Again, this was designed for simplicity uh, and also to keep the price down. So this is an exceptionally um, perfect boat for anybody just looking to get into the hobby. It'll give you all the basics about building a hull, building your linkages, trimming out your submarine without the complexity of a ballast system to contend with. If we take a look at this, we just got some Velcro hold downs. This just lifts up in the front. I'll let go, there we go. Magnetic connectors uh, in the back. I'm gonna pop those off. And cylinder comes right out. Really, really easy and simple. Electronic speed controller, two servos, one for rudder and one for dive planes. The motor is uh, externally mounted right there. It's a brushless motor, perfectly fine in the wet. We've got a remote on off switch in there and the 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And then a nice big beefy uh, 3300 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery pack. And that is it. Um, we've got a test tube in here to test uh, the watertight integrity of the cylinder. You just blow into this when this is submerged, look for bubbles. Um, what we can actually do and what we will do, we'll pop this off and just cap it so that when you have it in the boat, you don't have to fight uh, with the hose. But uh, this is, is basically it. And all of these parts are uh, part of the package uh, of STL or digital files and uh, physical parts will also be an option for purchase as well. Um, you can see it just needed a little bit of weight here. Uh, most of the weight was in the nose of the boat. And uh, these are all the linkages for our control surfaces. So you got our dive planes and our rudder in the back. And then we got a, a nice kind of neat looking seven bladed prop, but you could put a three bladed prop or a five, whatever kind of turns your crank in terms of the aesthetics of the submarine. The last thing I'm gonna note is uh, if you wanted to, uh, this is set up, and we didn't elect to do it for this boat, but you can um, put a, a camera, a waterproof camera in the nose, thus pointing straight forward, so you can record in high definition video, download back ashore, and uh, check out the adventures of your submarine. So again, this is gonna be a new product called the Blue Water Boats, available either as a purchase for STL files if you wanna print these out yourself, um, or we will offer physical parts for those of you without 3D printers. That's the Blue Water Boat. We called this the Rust Bucket. I hope you enjoyed the project. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. You can email me anytime, bob at nautilusdrydocks.com. If you like this video and my other ones, please do like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Thanks for now, we'll let you go. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the nautilusdrydocks.com. Catch you next time.